Hi guys, just a really quick one to let you know how to take out this Ford Sync 2 system. Um, this is a 2016 Ford Focus. Uh, what I've actually done, I've had it out already and it was a bit of a pain to get out um, when you don't know how it comes out. I didn't want to break anything. So what I've done, I've just rested it back together lightly and I'll just show you quickly how to take it apart. So yes, it is you know, they're taken apart already, the trims are off, but I've just rested them back on. So first things first, which was actually quite difficult, was this panel here. Underneath, it goes upwards above the climate control panel. It needs to come downwards. You can see the clips on there. They all go upwards. So that needs to come out first. The tool that I used to get that out was this, and just very carefully, you can get it in, just pop it downwards. It is difficult to get out. That's the first bit. The second bit is this surround comes down from this side round and up. Now to get that out, you just need to pop this trim here outwards. It's on clips that go into it, as you can see. So just pop it outwards. Once it's out, I mean, you can slide it forward and it just it comes out, but I've left it up there anyway. This surround here now will come out. What it needs to do is come upwards at the bottom and kind of forwards at the same time. It's, it's a bit of a pain. You can see the clips up there, they face forwards. So the clips underneath. So then this comes out the way. So underneath here, You've got four screws. One, two, three, four. So basically two of them hold this trim all the way around here and the climate control panel. The other two hold the upper trim in place. Once you've undone them four screws, they are a Torx 25, T25 star headed screw. Then what you can do is this bottom piece here, just pull it upwards. I'm trying to do this one handed. And then forwards, it's a little bit difficult, one handed. Move the gear stick back just into the fourth gear and this center panel will slide forwards. So now all of this is loose. You can take it off if you want, but it's, there's no point. Uh, the final bit is just to remove this surround around here. It is a little bit awkward. Um, basically what you have to do is reach under the bottom of it and give it a sharp pull towards you. And it's gonna be really difficult while I'm on the phone holding it, trying to film it for you, but I can't do it guys. I can't rest my phone anywhere either, but basically you hold it at the bottom, give it a sharp pull, sort of forwards and upwards. There we go. Look, just about managed it with one hand. You think you're gonna break it, but then the whole surround just slides forward. Once that's forward, as I say, it's really difficult, guys, with only one hand, but I'm just trying to help you out here because it was a pain. There's one plug on the back of it in there. Pop that plug off, and then you can access everything in there. You, the CD player, which is actually the audio control module, is held on by two 25 Torx bits, and the screen is held on by two more. And you go to refit it, tuck that clip up under the top, there you go. So it just rests in, and then what you do, give it a bit of a push, that's now in. The bottom panel goes forwards and that just clicks in nicely as well. So that's actually basically back together. Put your four screws back in, put your trim on, pay attention to them clips in there on the side. They need to go in first, face forwards. You can see down there, look, that faces forwards. So once that trim's on, pop that little side bit back in, 
and then finally the panel underneath and that's it that's uh all back together so apologies for the shaky camera and trying to do it one-handed but hopefully this helps somebody out